Piggy looks to be in control until uh, he tries to charge at Jericho who is in the corner. Jericho moves. He then climbs. Jericho then climbs the ropes and hits of course body for for a two count. This uh makes Dolph the world champion Dolph Ziggler nervous as he jumps up uh, jumps up on the apron to distract the referee and Jericho. Sure. Jericho takes a swing at Ziggler, but uh Ziggler jumps off the rope. Uh, the distraction leaves the opening for Big E to uh, do his wedding uh, tackle on Jericho. He then pulls down his traps. It looks like he's gonna go for the big ending when Alberto Daniel comes out and sho shoves uh, Darth Ziggler into the ring apron. This distracts Big E uh, long enough. Uh, for Jericho to get back to his feet. As soon as Big E turns around, Jericho hits the code breaker for the 1 2 3, picking up mo momentum for his match. I guess CM Punk at payback. Plus, uh, Del Rio gets a, a little bit of Dolph Ziggler before the, before the world title match. Will Alberto Del Rio be able to win the world title at payback? I'm hoping not, and I'm kind of thinking he won't. won't. But I'm hoping that Jerk, that uh, Punk wins the match in his hometown against Chris Jericho. Still to come, we have Daniel Bryan 101 with Seth Rollins due to the voting on the WWE app, which leaves Randy Orton to go 101 with the Roman Reigns. That's still to come. See you in a couple minutes. <clears throat> we come back from we come back from commercial and we are and we see. Uh, the return of the faceless one, Sankata, makes his return to war. He takes on Antonio Cesaro, the Swiss Superman. Sankata actually looked pretty good in the match. I didn't see any botches like he's known to do in you know, WWE. The match was actually a pretty good match. We had uh, the founding father of Jack Swagger, uh, Seth Coulter on commentary. With JBL and the King and Michael Cole. Sasato gets the win via the neutralizer of Sankata. It seems like uh, Seb Coulter was talking a lot about Sankata being an illegal immigrant, asking why he wears the mask if he's not hiding from anything. He puts Sankata in the same group with, that, with Alberto Darío and says that he actually appreciates. Uh, Antonio Cesaro for uh, actually uh, speaking English and going through the proper channels to become a legal citizen of the United States. Uh, they said Swagger's injured right now. That's why he's not on TV. But this started out there. Really. I'd love to see uh, down the road possibly a tag team or a stable come out of this whole thing with uh, Antonio Cesaro and Jack Swagger somehow being both being managed by uh, Seb Coulter, I think that'd be a good pairing, but we still got more war to come. Let's get back to it. We come back to war, we see, we go backstage to the office of Team Wiki. Vicky is chowing down on all these uh, double bacon burger. Uh, Black Raddick says that he hasn't even got one when she has like three uh, uh, waiting for uh, She's too busy uh, ch uh, chowing down to actually listen to what he's saying, but she uh, stops when she realizes uh, Mr. Whitman is right behind her. Whitman uh, uh, basically scolds her for making the face-to-face -face confrontation for the main event later tonight between Wyback and Cena. He says that that was a horrible idea that it puts the whole main event uh, match for the pay-per-view and Jeopardy. Uh, seeing as how they could end up in a fight and one of them could be injured. Uh, Vicky says she'll cancel the whole thing. But McMahon says he's already, he's, he's already been advertised and he's been, he promised the fans a confrontation. But, uh, so he, he can't allow the whole thing stop the to cancel it. Vicky tries to think of another 
another option but gets interrupted by plasmatics uh who comes up with a suggestion suggestion that uh they allow that they uh allow the Robo Jacks for the from the mat for the match this Sunday to come out and keep order between Ryback and Cena to make sure that they are uh, on each other before the pay-per-view. <coughs> McMahon likes the idea and says that Biggie should listen to uh, Brad uh, more often. Could this be a power struggle between Team Blakey? Could Brad Maddox end up becoming the new general manager of War? I'd love to see that. But coming up next, Randy Orton one-on-one when Roman Reigns of the Shield, we got uh, Daniel Bryan and Seth Rollins both out, both out with each each hand. It looks like it's gonna be a good one. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Roman Reigns and Randy Orton are going at it. We're gonna commercial break. The match is still going. It's a pretty good back and forth. Well, Roman Reigns just hit the Superman punch. Seeing uh, Orton outside of the ring before the commercial break. No interference so far from Daniel Bryan or Seth Rollins, but their match is still coming up. And we still have the confrontation between uh, Cena and Ryback, plus the promised uh, reveal of the secret admirer for Caitlyn. But that's all still to come. But let's get back to Monday Night War. Seth Rollins and not Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins and Dean and Daniel Bryan are in the middle of a fantastic match. Orton and Reigns ends up in a uh, no contest when Daniel Bryan and Seth Rollins both interfere in the match. Uh, we're now in the middle of what I said was a fantastic, or oh, is a fantastic Daniel Bryan Seth Rollins match. A lot of submissions, a lot of counters, and so far, no interference from either side. But we'll have to wait to see how it turns out. See you in a few minutes. Daniel Bryan and Seth Rollins have a tremendous back and forth match. If I had to recommend one match for Monday Night Raw to watch for tonight, it would definitely be that match. It is in a tremendous fashion. Is uh, Daniel Bryan uh, has Seth Rollins set up for the win? When uh, Roman Reigns tries to interfere the match, he gets up on the apron to try to distract Daniel Bryan. Randy Orton trips uh, while, uh, Reigns up and makes him fall backwards on the... Uh, pulls his leg out and makes him fall backwards on the apron. Uh, Daniel Bryan c- catches uh, Rollins in a quick roll-up uh, and gets the 1-2-3. The fans go crazy with the... Yes, 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 chance. Uh, after the match is over, uh, Wallace tries to jump uh, Daniel Bryan, but Bryan moves and ca- and catches Wallace with the uh, with a side kick, uh, setting him up, knocking him back into an RKO from Lady One. What does this mean for payback this Sunday night? Will we see new tag team champions? And the now dubbed Team RK, you know, Randy Orton and Daniel Bryan. We'll have to wait to find out it. Well, the pay per view. But still to come, the face to face confrontation with C. I. Ryback. With all the lumberjacks trying to sep- keep, them se- keep them separated. But coming up next, the, the reveal of Caitlin's um, secret admirer who's been sending her text and gifts for what they said is a month. I didn't realize it was that long, but Caitlin's Secret of Mile will be revealed next. Who will it be? I'm not sure, but it should be interesting. Caitlin comes out to meet her Secret of Mile. Everyone's shocked when we see Big E Langston comes come out with flowers and say that uh, he's the Secret of Mile. He goes to uh, hold Caitlyn and he bends her over backwards like he's about to kiss her but instead drops her to the mat as AJ Lee's music kicks off Big E walks backstage passing AJ gives her a high five and AJ makes her way to the ring 
She asked Caitlin how she feels. Does she feel bro broken? Uh, and uh, unwanted and unloved because that's the way AJ felt every time with uh, CM Punk and uh, John Cena and Daniel Bryan when they dumped her and her best friend Caitlin wasn't around to help her through it but this Sunday she's gonna make her feel even worth, more worthless when she takes the uh, Divas Championship and payback and I'm begging the WWE to let it happen let AJ Lee become the next Divas Champion let her and Dolph won SmackDown as the World Heavyweight Champion and the Divas Champion it would be an awesome thing to see but we still have uh, the confrontation between Cena and Ryback coming up so let's get back to Monday Night War Damian Sandow gets another uh, another spectacular victory over uh, our truth uh, we then go to the backstage where Stephanie McMahon tells two different people well, there was one person to tell her husband, Triple H, to meet her in the ring. She then uh, goes down the hall and tells another person to tell her they the same thing. So, I'm guessing that confrontation is coming up next. Uh, the McMahons and Triple H coming to the ring. I don't know what's going to happen, but we still have the confrontation between, between Ryback and uh, John Cena to come. War is almost out of time, but we still got uh, two big, two more big segments to come. What's gonna happen? I'm not sure. <sighs> Cena and Ryback's face to face confrontation is just like everybody thought it was gonna end up in a ball when Cena has enough of Ryback standing on the uh, entrance and not coming to the ring. He tried, Cena tries to slide out and go after Ryback, but the Lumberjacks push him back in the wing. Uh, Ryback makes a V-line, a B-line for the wing, and gets, uh, gets through an opening that was left by the Lumberjacks. He jumps in the wing, Cena, uh, pulls, uh, he runs after the ones at Cena. Cena ducks down, pulls the rope, top rope down. Sending right back over the top. The Lumbo Chats then push right back back in the wing and see how the right back go at it until the Lumbo Chats run in and push them, pull them apart. Uh, Walt goes off the air with see how the right back and separate corners being held back by the Lumbo Chats for uh, this Sunday's pay per view. That is war for tonight. See you out. Uh, see you on. Uh, for Impact and uh, Smackdown my reviews are coming this week also check like I said before check out uh, DreamElite.com for all your uh, check out the Dream Elite Dream Elite dot, the Dream Elite dot com for all your M MMA <laughs> uh, WWE and TNA needs see you uh, on Thursday